Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. For some time now, the events that have been unfolding in the Southeast has pointed to the fact that IPOP is overly uh, innocent over some of the killings that have taken place thus far. Don't forget that uh, for a while now, a lot of revelations have been coming up. The latest was the case of uh, Anabia indigent who is a policeman who decided to speak up about activities of the soldiers uh, with the kidnappers who are Fulanis. And uh, this has helped to kind of uh, vindicate IPOP, especially when Ima Powerful comes up to say that they do not really have a hand in some of the things that have been happening in the Southeast. And Mazinam Dikanu has decided to react to some of these news and have told his people, talking about IPOP members and also his supporters, what they are expected to do. And he has went further also to reveal a lot. We are going to be looking at some of his statements and also the reactions of the people in that respect. But before we continue with details of the news and for the analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to Barista Ifangi Ijofo, he says, update on our routine visit to our indefatigable client, Onyen Dumazinam de Kanu, at the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS Abuja, today being the second day of June 2022. And he started away his write-up doors. He said, consistent with the subsisting court order guideline, we visited our amiable client, Oyen Dumas in Amdikano, today. The fulcrum of our brief centered exclusively on our legal undertaking and prospect of positive outing on the next adjoined date, having received or having reviewed the entirety of our legal strategies thus far. Onyendu was enthused with the news of seemingly this escalation in criminal activities in the Southeast and promptly directed for a sustained action towards total sanity on our land. Oyendu was delighted that Umu Chineke are being vindicated by the startling revelations which is irresistibly exposing the strangers in our land and their criminal gangs alike who are kidnapping on our soil on a daily basis. Oyendu maintained that no son of the soil should pause until all forms of criminalities are totally eradicated from our land. He insisted that our land should no longer be a safe heaven for those who kidnap for ransom, kill or indulge in any form of prohibited act. We end up tying Chuko Kikobiyama for exposing these criminals behind the sacrilegious activities on our land and stress further that there will be no hiding place anymore for those unscrupulous elements who are desecrating our land, hiding in bushes and arrogating the rights of landlords to over overlords of our land to themselves. He is profoundly pleased with the unprecedented success so far recorded in containing these monsters who have nothing, stroke, no connection whatsoever with his freedom movement. IPOP has been vindicated. Oyendu commended Ezigbo Umochineke for the solidarity, resoluteness, and unflinching support. He continued to encourage you all to remain focused, calm, and firm, as it's only a matter of time these onerous parts will be exited. Oyendu directed that all legal options should be intensified to ensure immediate release of Mrs. Okamaka. Ejeze Mama Biafra, who is presently being held in the solitary confinement of the state services or state security services. Oyendu was, however, impressed with the extent of legal engagement aggressively being deployed to ensure that she regains her freedom within the shortest possible time. 
we are not relenting in our effort to see it happen. Same energy is also being dissipated to ensure the release of all Umochine case illegally arrested and still detained across the detention facilities of various security agencies. We implore you all to intensify in your supplication and prayers as it is impacting so positively Umochine case. This phrase shall come this phase shall come to pass soon. Thank you all and remain blessed, Umo Chineke. We move. Sign, sir, if I need a job for Esquire, I have lead council, 2nd June 2022. Quite interesting here. A lot of things have happened. I think it's all of them are point, pointers to the fact that um, the court case would be short leave kind of now why am i saying all of that now the, the most people had believed that the continuous or the increment in violence in the southeast and the kidnapping activities uh, is traceable to ipop that had been what most people believe it is but shockingly fairly recently not up to like six days the records on ground have proven otherwise. For example, you know, when the prelate was being uh, kidnapped, most people were like, UGN are up again. Do UGN who are linked to IPOB are up again and uh, they want to go as far as committing this kind of sacrilegious act and all of that. But at the end of the day, when everything came to limelight, it was shocking that the prelate confessed that the people who actually kidnapped him were actually Fulanis who are already resident in the bushes of the southeast and their purpose is to see how they can take war from all the northern states you know down to the southeast because according to them there is little or no security in the southeast uh, and another one that f took place fairly or recently also i think he was uh, captured some three or four days ago talking about uh, the 70 year old man though from the southeast but he has no connection with you know ipop he was the man who was the kingpin, um, the Che leader of uh, the group who went after, you know, that Anambra state uh, uh, lawmaker who beheaded an Anambra state lawmaker. And the military came to realize what he has done thus far, you know, to impact negatively on the southeast. But unfortunately, all of these activities, they have been pointing it at a particular direction. Why? Because there's a case on the ground like that, which uh, most people believe it's, you know, um, it has a lot to do with violence, you know, in the southeast. So every group that springs up and have intention of violence, what do they do? After performing their nefarious act, they point to you know, Mazinam, the Kano release, they release our leader and all of that, not knowing that what they are doing is actually just to satisfy their personal selfish gains. You understand? But with some of the events that have unfolded lately, we can now draw a conclusion. Unfortunately, even the military has been dragged into it. And this is not coming from someone who is just standing on the pulpit, who has gone through, you know, the negative experience of being under the grip of, you know, these so-called uh, kidnappers. And uh, at the end of the day, he came up to say that there is some link apart from even the, the police officer also, came out to say that there was some link between the soldiers, that the soldiers are not helping matters. And the issue of sharing of ransom and all of that came up before the military now had to say, no, this issue must first of all be investigated. So now you now see that with this kind of information on ground, to some extent, um, the next sitting, if they kickstart the case of Mazin Namdekano, he has a lot, a lot, you know, to tell the court, which uh, will kind of rubbish some of the evidences that were already on ground against him. And apart from anything, these things are happening when he is not even around, you know. So all of this will go an extra mile to correct the abnormalities and everything. But before we give you, leave you to make comments on our comment section, let's consider what some Nigerians have to say. This one said, may God continue to protect you and strengthen you till the end. The journey has not been easy to our able legal team. Kudos to you all. We sincerely appreciate you all and pray that Chuku Gikabiyama rewards you all now and always. Now what a person here says, May Chuku Gikabiyama bless be friends, bless our leader Mazinam Dikano and bless our legal team that's on this, that are on this mission in the name of Chuku Gikabiyama. He say. 
Another one here says, God bless you, sir, and give you more wisdom ahead. Amen. Can must be free unconditionally. Another one here says, as we are waiting for the next adjoined date by Stephen A. Joffa, please be recounting what boss Bruce Fain said. It would be absolutely bad to accept if we hear it was adjourned again. Open up either secretly and let plans, let there be plans for the next move. Continue your good works. Continue your good works. God bless you. And this one here said, Thank Chuko Kika Biyama for everything. Thank you all for your effort. We appreciate me. Chuko Kika Abiyama bless you. And that one here says, Yes, do. Yes, yes, so victory shall be ours at the end of the day. We'll have reasons to celebrate far beyond the expectations of our enemy. A lot of people are talking. I want you to go to our comment section with what you've heard, Mazin Amdikano, say, what do you think will be happening in the next sitting when his case will start full?